Uh, my name is Jim Boniface. I'm the master of PVST 29. I've been a master mason since 2001, about six years. I uh, knew a couple guys that at the time I didn't know were masons that I had a lot of respect for. They were guys that I worked with, not worked with directly, but in the course of business, I knew these guys and knew that they were good people and uh, honest, honorable guys that I had a lot of respect for. Um, one of the guys uh, was always missing work at Christmas time, and I asked him what he was doing. And he told me that he was out uh, raising money for children's charities, and I thought that that was really a cool thing to do because I was always a Scrooge, I ate all the commercials for Christmas. So uh, I asked him about that a few times and he kind of blew me off. I think mostly because he was waiting for me to ask him the third time, as was the old rule. <laughs> and then he finally uh, told me that he was doing his three Masons. The two guys that I had the most respect for in the business environment. Uh, both showed up at my office and uh, said they wanted to talk to me. So I thought that was strange that they were both there. And uh, they came in my office and sat down across the desk. They were all serious and I thought, oh, there's got to be something bad going on. The first thing that came out of their mouths was, do you believe in God? And uh, I went on to explain to them a little bit about you know, I'm not a religious person, but I, you know, I believe in the Supreme Being. He uh, said, so you ought to come down and check out the lodge. I came to a friend of friend night, and, uh, and still being uh, intent on doing the charity work at Christmas time, I was anxious to start. So I did my first degree and went on from there. Masonry, uh, I think, is uh, something that I wish I had found before I was 15 years old. It fits really well into my personal life. Um, I think my wife was a little uh, put off at first by all the time I spent at the lab, you know, with my buddies. But uh, as she realized that it was really making me a better person, now she encourages me. So it fits real well in my, in my life. In my, Certain that I'll always attend lodge and I'll always be missing. Well, being uh, the, the master of the lodge is kind of the climax of uh, six years of, of working my way through the line. And, uh, and when I first became a Mason, I was asked a few times if I wanted to go through the line and, and being busy having a lot going on, grandkids and everything. I turned them down a few times and then I uh, sat in the steward's seat to uh, fill in a few times and, and started to realize that uh, I could learn a lot about Mason, a lot more about Mason by being in, more involved by being an officer. So I made that commitment to go through the line and I have learned a tremendous amount in a short time about Mason. More, I probably would have taken me three times as long to know what I know about the Lodge and Masonry and, and the people in the Lodge and I've become better friends with more people. Uh, it's just been a really good experience all the way. And uh, if I, I don't know that I could say I would do it again because it was a lot of work, but, uh, but I'm glad I did it. And uh, only having six months left as an officer, uh, I'm also looking forward to doing it. Uh, I would think that anyone who was interested in becoming a Mason uh, should first find out a little more about Mason. Uh, there are a few good books that come pretty close to explaining the, uh, the real gist of Masonry, Freemasonry for Hummings is, is one that, that comes pretty close. I think a lot of people, and there's reasons, there's good reasons and there's bad reasons with coming Mason. And I, 
uh, wanted to do it to help with the charity work, uh, I didn't realize how much there was to learn about this and how good of a fraternity and organization and how many good people are you to meet, uh, which in the real world is kind of rare. You, know, you run across ten bad ones for that's still your wallet for every one good one. And here we have in this lodge 500 good men that I would trust with my life or my money or my wife. So that's pretty hard to come back. Anyway, if they wanted to, if they examine the reasons why they want to become a Mason and, and they uh, have that uh, goodness of heart that, that we really need in Masonry, the uh, first thing to do is find a friend or come to a lodge, ask, and, and we shall receive. Okay.